Welcome everyone and welcome to the week of May 13th. So this week we're going to be working with the energies of the 22, so 202. I think some of the sort of keynotes of this energy this week or sort of what we'll be asked to really focus on is where it is that we need to sort of check our bias as well as where can we become the observer within the situation or the experience. And so really, you know, when we're fully immersed within a situation, when we, when our, you know, when we feel passionate about whatever it is that we're involved in, it's really hard to sort of see the full spectrum, to see the full landscape of what's actually happening. And the two energy will ask us to hit the pause button, to stand back a little bit and to really take a look at the whole scene, what's actually really happening. Because in doing so, we can then sort of pinpoint where the disconnect is occurring and come up with some kind of a solution to reconnect, to meet in the middle, to see eye to eye, that sort of thing. So if there's some area of your life, and I would say that it's probably going to be more focused in relationships, the spectrum of relating to another person. So if there's any connection where there might be some heated debates or, you know, you're really you have some kind of bias, which of course we all do in life, right? Where we see the world through our own perspective um, and that drives our action. But the two asks us to stand back, take a look and really kind of see all sides of the situation as unbiased as possible so that we can really gain a greater understanding and gain as much information for what's actually happening. And in doing so, then that opens us up to the greater landscape where we, then we have more options, right? So we're not so fully immersed in it that we can't see the bigger picture. So it's kind of like that, you know, can't see the forest for the trees type of thing. It's that kind of energy. So if there's some area in your life where um, you kind of feel like you're hitting your head against the wall, you're not getting anywhere, you're being misunderstood, or you're really not seeing eye to eye and there's conflict, this is such a great week to, in order to sort of infuse more harmony and balance into that situation or that relationship, hit the pause button, stand back, be the observer for a little bit as like, I don't want to say like as detached as possible, but really just see things play out for the way that they are so that you can make more informed decisions on how you want to sort of engage or show up to that connection because likely you'll have a different approach if you can see things differently and if your perspective can change. Um, would also say, of course, pay attention to your biases this week. Where is it where you're sort of entering into a situation with, you know, stubbornness or set in your ways, like, you know what, how it is and that it's your way or the highway type of thing. This energy will say, you know, does it need to be that way? Or can we be open again to other people's perspectives, other people's wisdom and experiences and find common ground within that um, area? And so I think what we'll find is that we can bring a lot more peace and harmony and balance to our connections when we can do this. And as I mentioned, the two brings in this element of relationships. So again, this is full spectrum of relating. It could be friends, colleagues, acquaintances, the people that you meet as you're walking down the street type of thing, anywhere within your day that there's a connection. And so you could see an emphasis on those areas this week where it's going to be really about trying to see eye to eye as much as possible. Again, you don't have to buy into what the other person is trying to sell. It's just about both being able to share their perspectives in a way that's healthy and where we can each kind of gain something from the experience where it's not about debating or one needs to be right and the other one needs to be wrong. It's really about how can we sort of meet in the middle and find common ground to find the greatest solution that serves all involved. So you may see an emphasis this week, especially around those relationships where there has been some discord or some kind of potential conflict. And really this is at its core conflict resolution, right? Finding ways to sort of minimize the conflict and really come together as peacefully and harmoniously as possible without either party needing to sacrifice a part of themselves. Compromise is beautiful. And when we're compromising, we're saying, you know what, I can kind of give up this a little bit. I don't need to sort of stand on this hill and die on it. <laughs> I can, you know, I can give this up a little bit <clears throat> and meet you in the middle. Sacrifice would be like, okay, I'm 
getting rid of everything I believe in to accommodate you and to diffuse the situation and to you know create peace and harmony at my expense. And we don't want that. We want compromise and coming together in peace and harmony. So I do think that this will be an opportunity for each of us to find a way to do more of that, to compromise more in a way that is beneficial to all involved and um, where we can come up some, with a greater solution. The other thing that I will say is because we're also working with the 20 energy, right? So we've got that double two, 22, <clears throat> but we also have the energy of the zero. And this is significant because what this brings in is sort of this energy of a clean slate like a refresh button, um, a do-over, so to speak. So you could see with your some of your connections that there is this opportunity for doing things differently, trying something new, two people coming together um, in new light, so to speak. So if there is a situation where maybe things fell apart um, or there was some kind of um, breakdown, this could be a time where you actually can reconnect with that individual, you both have potentially moved through some things in life and evolved and come up with, um, you know, you just might be different people at this time. And so the timing might be better for you to find that harmony and balance within that connection, or at least to find forgiveness and to release any animosity or anything that's holding either of you back. So with this zero energy, just think of it as you walk into a room and everything's fresh and new and clean and it's a starting point. So you could find this with some of your relationships where no matter what has happened in the past, and I'm not saying avoid it or minimize it or disregard it, but I'm saying this energy can bring in sort of this refresh, this refresh button that says, you know what, this happened, we can talk about it, we can move on from it, but we can also start new. We can start also start over um, and meet each other where we are at in this moment, not from where we were be previously or where we were before, but where we are now. So it's really beautiful for that. So you could see that you get a fresh start with a, within a connection that the lines of communication might open in a different way to allow each person to see things from a different vantage point um, that can really help to create healthier, uh, more sustainable relationships. So you could see that, or you could see just a, a refresh in the way that you approach relationships. What will you put up with? What won't you put up with? Um, maybe you just come into new insight into how you want to engage within uh, relationships and how you want to participate. And maybe that's changed for you. And now this is an opportunity to step into that and to really see how it works out for you. So really, truly beautiful energies this week for you know coming into greater relationship, for finding that peace and harmony, and also balance. Two energy is also about balance. So if there's some area within your life that you feel out of balance, then again, this could be a refresh button so that you can get back into balance holistically. Um, and again, this can also be with relationships to yourself. So first we have to come back to ourselves before we can come together with others in order to have those healthy, um, sustainable relationships. So yeah, I kind of see this as a fresh new beginning, not only for connections and relationships, but also how we view those relationships and those connections and how we may want to approach it a little bit differently to get better, more aligned results. So overall, just incredibly beautiful energy this week, especially when it comes to relationships and how we approach those. So yeah, it can be really beautiful if we work with the energy and allow it to do its magic, but doesn't work if we don't show up and put in the effort. So I hope it is a beautiful week for you all. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again soon.